everyone, it's Joy here for Honeybee Stamps. For my project today, I'm using the beautiful Painted Blooms stamp set along with some Crackle Texture Paste. So I wanna start with my background. I have my Quattro Foil stencil adhered to my white A2 size cardstock with Pixie Spray. Then on my work surface, I have my opaque Crackle Texture Paste and I am using Distress Ink in a speckled egg and I'm just kind of dropping some drops on here. I don't want it dark at all. I, I still want it to be light because this whole card feels kind of light, but I definitely want to notice <laughs> that I'm using speckled egg on the background. So I have it mixed and I left some areas where it's not mixed as well, thinking it would kind of in a fun way streak the background, but it didn't. I think it mixed once I was spreading it. So because I use the Pixie Spray, it is holding the, the stencil down to my paper, which is good for something like this. And I'm making sure to get a good even spread. So this is the uh, crackle paste. Once it dries, all of those little areas are going to crackle. So if you go super thick, it's gonna take a lot longer to let it dry. So some of them I did a little thicker than others, but what I noticed is the thinner, the better, as long as it's, you know, get a good coverage. So that's what I'm doing here, making sure I'm just getting all the little spots. And then when I peel this back, it's so, so pretty, but you're not even gonna see the crackle until it dries. So, but isn't this like so satisfying when you peel back your stencil? Okay, so now I am using the Sweet Stacks rectangles and a A2 size card base. I want to make a frame essentially. So I'm placing one of those smaller or kind of medium sized rectangles in the center and we're gonna cut that center piece out and just use the outside piece. I wanted a thicker frame, so depending on how you want it to be, you could go larger or smaller with these type of dies. So I'm gonna run that through my die cut machine and then when I peel this away, you can see we have a good sized thick frame. Now let's get to the Painted Blooms. This is a fantastic stamp set. So I'm gonna start with just all of the leaves around on this frame part on my white cardstock. And I'm just starting with some of the bigger ones, placing those around, and then for the most part, I can fill in with the littler ones. I just, I think that's a little bit easier to fit the little guys in instead of trying to fit big guys in if you've just done a bunch of little ones. I am using Shabby Shutter's Distress Oxide ink for my flowers. I love this color. I think it's so soft and so pretty. And like I said, this card really is gonna have a very soft feel. And so, I don't know, there was just something about, and I, I could be wrong, but to me, it made me think of like an English garden. So that was kind of my inspiration. So now that I've done the big ones, I'm gonna bring in kind of the medium ones and small ones and just to fill in those holes that I have around and then just adding a few more tiny ones that basically kind of where the flowers can go, I'm putting some of those in, but I'm not kind of following the rules all the way around with that. I'm just putting flowers wherever I want for the most part <laughs> uh, because who's gonna know? I mean, now you know because I told you, but other than that, no one's gonna know. So I'm just gonna finish stamping that. And then I can stamp the flowers. So again, from the Painted Blooms, and I'm using Spun Sugar and Saltwater Taffy for all of my flowers. The larger flowers are the Spun Sugar and the smaller ones are Saltwater Taffy. And then there is some centers for the larger flowers, and I use Squeezed Lemonade for that. And I just love that, I don't know, these are just so pretty. These flowers are so pretty, they almost, they just feel a little wild to me. And I just, I don't know. There's something about it that I really love. Then I will use the coordinating dies, again, just for the flowers, not for the leaves, because I want those directly on that frame background. Okay, let's adhere these flowers. I've already laid them out. I'm going to add foam tape behind all of the light pink flowers because I do wanna have some dimension on this. And I am also making sure that they are hanging over into the framed area and on the outside of the framed area. Then the darker pink flowers, I will adhere just directly to the background with some tape runner or excuse me, liquid glue. I am using Honeybee Stamps Precision Liquid Glue. So I'm just gonna put those in places and as you can see, it's not perfectly even or anything. It just, I don't know, it just worked. To me, it just felt like the design was really good because I usually tend to 
um, try to make it look random on purpose and I did not do that this time, which was actually kind of nice. <laughs> so I'm gonna finish those guys. Then I wanna add some foam tape behind the frame, but I'm actually gonna do two layers of foam tape because I want this to stand up quite far actually. I want there to be quite a large gap between this and the crackled background, which you can see in the upper part of the screen is completely dry. And it probably took about an hour to completely dry. I think it still was kind of, the paper was still kind of moist on the back here. Um, so I would definitely not like mail this and I was kind of being really careful with it, but to the touch, it was dry. So I'm going to adhere that to the back. I just flipped it over. I trimmed down a little bit of the excess off and then flipped it over and adhered it to the uh, foam tape. I'm adding a lot of adhesive on my card base because the, the moisture in that stenciled or in that um, crackle pasted background kind of wrinkles the paper. So I really wanted a lot of adhesive to the back. Then I'm using the Inside Kindness stamp set and inking that up with Shubby, Shubby Shutters, Shubby Shutters Distress Oxide ink and using the coordinating die to die cut it out. I really was debating on using gold embossing powder, but I liked using the green ink instead. Then I'm gonna add some of the um, Crystal Clear Mix. These are the gem stickers. And I'm gonna add the different sizes of those kind of all over the background. And there was something about these that just really are stunning on this card. They're super, super pretty. And there's something really bright, weirdly, about them. I'm not even sure how to explain that. But they just looked absolutely gorgeous. So as you can see here, we have our completed card. We've got that gorgeous crackled background the beautiful painted blooms, and then you have those little gem stickers just to kind of finish it off and add a little more fun detail. Thank you guys so very much for stopping by and watching. I hope that you enjoyed this project and I will be back soon with another video. Bye.